the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, has expressed support for the former deputy president of Senate, Ike Kweremadu, over allegations of child trafficking and an attempt to harvest the kidney of a minor. The former Anambra governor took to his Twitter handle at Peter Obi to share his support for the family and pray for the healing of their daughter. Sahara reporters had reported on Thursday that Ekwere Madu and his wife Beatrice were arrested at Heathrow Airport, London and arraigned in court for allegedly plotting to arrest the kidney of a Nigerian minor. The duo who were reported to be attempting to arrest the organ of a Nigerian minor to save the life of their daughter, Sonia, pleaded not guilty to the charges at the Oxbridge Magistrate Court. Magistrate Lewis shared despite their plea for bail since their passports were with the police, remanded both defenders in custody ahead of their hearing on July 7th. However, the Nigerian lawmaker denied the allegations of organ harvesting while sharing a letter to the UK High Commission in Nigeria requesting a visa for the alleged minor. Obi Street read, My family and I are with the Equerry Madus over the over their travel, we join all men of goodwill in prayer for the healing of their daughter and commit them into God's hand for justice to be done. Hmm. And with this statement made by Peter Obi, hey, a lot of people are like, ah, why should you say that? Did, 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 this and that. So you are just pretending. What kind of a thing? You are just mocking them. <laughs> Whichever way. It also, wahala. You know, talks so wahala. But I think. Uh, uh, on the standpoint of a moral, he has been able to, he has done the right thing. Whether you believe what he said or not is a different thing. Or some people are like, oh, are you encouraging them or are you supporting what they did? Of course, as it, as it stands now, they are innocent until proven guilty. Of course, they pleaded that they are not guilty. So, until after everything, everybody say, oh, let's keep our finger crossed and see what happens at the end of it before you can make any conclusion. Peter Obi is a national movement rescue mission 2023. Just be obedient, Nigeria. So our reporters, your malicious reports on Peter Obi is becoming nauseating. Very soon, you may become irrelevant if you don't change. Change. We are just observing. I don't think that there's anything wrong with uh, what Sarah reporter said. He did that now. He did not say, say he stand with them. He stands with them. So I don't think uh, there's anything wrong with uh, what he said. He only said what Peter Obi said. Uh, Peter Obi is only being his brother's keeper. He is very smart to understand perfectly that a person is innocent until proven guilty. Those saying the Kore Madu should be isolated because he made uncomplimentary remarks about Peter Obi should now be ashamed of themselves as their principal have shown more decorum and insensitivity on the matter. Well, your malicious reporting against Peter Obi is nauseating these days, but you are indirectly destroying yourself. This one is talking about Sarah reporter. So. Well, Mr. Peter B is showing sympathy for his daughter's illness. Why the contradictions in this? Peter B simply prays for the healing for his daughter and that justice should be done. Hmm. Thank God we read the post directly from Peter B. Verified Twitter account. He never in any way supported the crime. Rather, he prayed for the family and the sick daughter. This is the more reason why Buhari will see send Shiwari to prison because of his bad character. Getting support from the youth is not by force. Stop shopping for lies. Okay, every criminal needs healing and good health to face the full wrath of the law. Justice from God means Equerry Madu doesn't escape the wrath of the Lord. Learn to read to understand. Don't just be bookworms it's shocking how a supposed news house cannot even interpret simple english wow i feel sorry for peter b is supporting crimes committed by equally madu who he he find out what he really said when he has when has it become a bad thing to pray for a brother who is in trouble i think uh, this man will not be able to accuse him again what's this man's name Ren or mokri hmm <laughs> uh, who said uh, the Igbos are not supporting him? Uh, uh, now this man is supporting him now. Some boys will say, 
he's not even supporting him because it's 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 innocent until proven guilty because the man has said he's not even guilty. He denied being guilty. Except he's obviously especially support for a Kurimadu charge in court for organ abusing praise for ghost healing for daughter. Uh whichever way you want to have interpret it. So of course the message is being passed. Ekoremadu may be a bad person in political sector, but in the case of Kidney Duno, he and his family are innocent. The boy is not a minor, and the whole saga started when the kidney didn't match. The boy's dreams seemed shattered before he raised alarm out of frustration. You know, won't come back. Ah, really? This uh, guy called Shiwore through, though he will be a president by propaganda. Do you want him to pay him back in his own coin? Now, wow, his obedience just like our movement. He also said, may justice be done. I am living, uh, okay, this is purely a health-related issue. Initiate, uh, initial report suggested that Ekure Madu got involved in organ trafficking. The so-called 15-year-old boy agreed to donate his kidney for Ekure Madu's daughter organ transplant. The guy was uh, happy to go to UK to escape poverty. The UK immigration officers questioned the guy's age. Uh, that is what got the former DSP in trouble. It is easy to condemn a politician, but the truth will be unmasked. Poverty has made many youths to do the unthinkable. The guy is not 15 years. He is well above 20. Another credible information says when they reach UK, his organ didn't match with his sick gay. But some people have the opinion that uh, before this boy will leave uh, UK in the first place, didn't they do tests in Nigeria before coming? I don't understand. The guy man alleges that he brought uh, he was brought to the UK against his consent, seeking for asylum because he didn't want to return to Nigeria. Why the guy? Ma didn't even raise alarm in Nigeria until he reached Paradise, UK. Wow, what a unique and humble man. This coming from uh, Peter Obi. Obi only sympathized with the family on the daughter's health issues, but called for justice for the alleged 15-year-old boy. Meanwhile, the person in question is not even 15 years or even 20 years old. There's more to this issue than meets the eyes. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. We shall, we shall, we shall see to the end of this whole thing. We shall see to the end of this whole matter. It's not over until it is over. So, guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take.